Welcome back, everybody. It looks like I picked up a couple subscribers since my last video, so very happy about that. So hit the subscribe button. It's down here. It's somewhere. Get it. Hit the bell. Get notifications. Like the video. Tell a friend. All this stuff helps me out. So I guess some of my yammering's working out because people are actually starting to subscribe. So please, tell a friend. There's got to be somebody out there that you know that owns a car or something like mine, a G-Body, whether it's a Grand National, Cutlass, Regal. Tell them about the channel. Hey, man, there's some weirdo that's making all these videos. It might be interesting to you. You ought to check it out. Okay, enough of me stammering and begging. So this is the old evaporator core, and I've got the new evaporator core sitting right next to it. So you can see how the seal goes around. It's glued down by some kind of yellow gunky glue, and it folds over the side. And I guess that's how it seals against the box. So the, here's the seal that came with the kit. And it's one continuous piece of like a skinny closed cell foam. And then they've glued a second strip, I guess, to double up the thickness on the back. And this thickness is actually correct, except this one, it's that thick all the way around. So as it overlaps the sides, it's that same thickness. So I, I guess you're supposed to bend it like this and glue it over the side. It's just... It's not long enough and it seems kind of, I don't know, it's, it's awkward. I'm going to have to figure out how to glue that down. I don't know. I'm not exactly happy with that seal, so I don't know. Seals came with the kit. They are the right thickness. These are the right th thickness for the side. That's good. And these stretch the length. But these are actually too thick, I think, compared to what's on here. So it's like no one got it right. And then this one, when they packed it, I think the... Uh, the evaporator core was sitting down on it and it's just squished flat and it's stuck like that. It won't come back from that shape. So that's like, it's useless. So I'm thinking, you know, maybe I should take a step back and figure out why is this seal here? What is its purpose and how does it do its job? And maybe I can think of a way to do it, do it better maybe, I don't know, but figure out something to where I, I can fix it myself and come up with something. So I went out to the store and I got a couple of different uh, just um, peel and stick type seals, like window seals and stuff like that. And one's more like an open type of foam and the other one's like a closed cell foam. So I'm hoping between the two of them I can make something up and make this work. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to go grab the case and I'm going to sit the case up here and then put the new EVAP in and see how it is supposed to seal against the case and maybe... I'm going to come up with something different or something a little bit better. We'll see. I'm going to grab the case. All right. Let's put this up here. It's the bottom of the case. And let's put in this inner blower motor housing. Okay. So that goes in. And then the evaporator goes in here. That fits well. Okay, push the seal down here. All right. So you've got this uh, this kick up down here, and this holds the evaporator tight, and it's in there pretty good. So there's like a little bit of a gap back here. Let's turn it around. And I put this front seal on. I had to trim this because this it's actually fatter up here by the front than what the old one was. So I had to trim this to get it to fit just right. So that's down, and that is the front. This is pushed down. That's all sealed together very nice. So that's good. So on the front, let's see if I can see this. So you've got a little gap right here. This side's fatter than on the back side. And I think, I think I can use these two sticky seals. And I'm wondering, I'm, let me move this to the side. I'm wondering if that fits down in there. Oh, look at that. That is perfect. That is just snug enough that it sits down in there. That is going to go good. So these two stick-on strips I'm going to use on the back sides or the two sides of the evaporator. You know, I'm going to go off script here a little bit. So on uh, G-Body Forum, and again, if you're not on G-Body Forum and you got a G-Body, I don't know what you're doing with your life. That, that, uh, that one forum, I've got more information on that than I, I, I can't even tell you. 
Um, we had a discussion on there. It was a, uh, one of the threads was about the uh, the weak blower uh, force when it goes into the car. So the actual air coming out of the vents is a, a little weaker than what like a normal or newer car would be. And there's all kinds of theories as to you know blower design and where the cage is and there's different aftermarket cages and maybe this cage is better than that and I don't I just don't know I just don't know I think some of it comes down to uh, some of it comes down I think just to like different areas on the case where you're just bleeding off some of that air you want to keep everything inside here so all that air is pressurized and has no choice but to go one direction in the vehicle and I think maybe there's some spots where you just had you had leakage and um, I'm also wondering too because when you put the lid on there is a, there's a blower motor uh, resistor that's up here on top and it's got a couple of different resistors in it so when the when you are inside the car and you click you know low to medium it goes through a specific resistor and it and that's exactly what it does it is it it holds up some of that electricity so you get a certain voltage to the motor the motor is just going to run with whatever voltage you supply so as you go through the different speeds it goes through a different resistor and I think there's three inside there so it's your three low speeds and then when you click it on high it's straight from the battery to this and it's supposed to be direct battery voltage so I'm wondering if some of it is whatever the voltage is at the battery maybe it's like 13.9 or whatever it is and what you're actually getting at this blower motor I wonder if there's some bleed off somewhere and maybe you're only getting like 12 volts or something and you're missing that one volt that would be good for this so anyway that's way down the road right now I think I've got my plan of action how I'm gonna uh, put this together I think I'm gonna go ahead and uh, and grab the, the sticky and then I'll have to figure out how to do the side so let me get this back out of the way and then we'll go to putting the seal on this thing all right so I think we're ready to go so I'm keeping this seal in place because I'm just going to be gluing it along this top edge here so that'll go like so. Let's get that one on. And try not to touch this sticky stuff. I'll spin it around and I marked off on this side how far I can go up to the top. So we'll put that right about there. Okay, let's sit that one off to the side. And then we've got the inside of the blower case. So if you remember, you had on the, the old one, there was overlap on the sides, and then there were two strips that were sitting essentially here. So what I'm going to do is, these two strips are on the EVAP case, and I'm actually going to put this bottom strip on the case in here. And then that way, um, I don't have to figure out how to glue that edge and mess that all up. Let's, let's move this around so I can see what I'm doing. So I think if I put that right there, run that right along this edge. Yeah. That ought to work out there. I've got a little overage. Let me trim that. Okay, and the last strip, this is the top of the case. The last strip will go on the top right along, because this, this is the hump where the EVAC case sits. And then this leading edge right here is what seals the top of the EVAP case. So I think, oh crud, I think if we get, this stuff is being a bear for me, thank you. All right, let's turn this around here so I can see what I'm doing. Sorry, you can't see, but I need to be able to figure this out. So if I, f I think if I put that right down in here, is that right? Yes, that'll be good right there, and then we'll cut off some of that overage. I think there that seals down there. Oh, this is the top of the case. 
Eastwood Underhood Black. All right, so now, final fitment time. Let's see if this is gonna work. So the case goes in, inside the blower case, and we'll get our EVAP in here. Oh yeah, you can feel, oh. That, yes, okay, let's see. You can see down inside this. It is, it's a nice snug seal at the bottom. Snug at the back where that's supposed to be. And snug at the front and that is sitting right where I need it to be. Now let's grab that top case. Oh, this is actually going to look like it's actually going to look like it belongs. Okay, let's. Oh, there it is. Let's get that snug down. Oh, you can. Wish you could feel that. That is just snug. Oh, and it's right up the seal level on the, uh, on the top side is right against that. That's perfect. That is perfect. I love that. That thing is sealed up tight, just like that. So good. I'm going to take this apart, and I'm going to take these pieces in the house, because it is, I don't know, 200 degrees is crazy. It is super hot. Uh, so I'm going to take all this stuff in the house, because what I don't want to do is have all this stuff just sit out here in the heat, and then have the sticky let go of what I just put down. So. I'm going to take these down to the basement and they'll stay nice and cool and hopefully everything will stay stuck together. And then let's move on to the next piece. So let me get all this crap out of the way and I'll be back. I almost forgot the evaporator. There is this mesh that's on this side here. It's, uh, it, looks, <laughs> it looks very uh, flimsy. Anyway, so I'm going to take this off and put it, transfer it over to my new one once it gets cleaned up. So it looks like... All right, so there's these two metal clips. Where is it buried? In? There it is. So, oh, well, these aren't hard at all. Okay, so you have these two clips on either end. I clip this one side. Come on. There it is. Okay. I'm gonna take these two clips out of the way. So it was like it was like the second end and end on both sides. Let's flip this up and over, and we'll take a look at this side. It should just be, it should just be a straight clip, oh, that's why. It should just be a straight clip that is pushed down in between the fins. Let me work these up like this. I should just be able to pull them out. Yeah, there we go. Come here. Ah, so all it is is this little clip. It's got some grips on both sides. And let me get this off here. It just, it just is held on by the pressure of pushing it down into the fins. So that's all that is. I am going to take this thing into the house and I'm going to put it in a, a bowl with some warm water and some soap and I'm going to clean it up because it's been in here for a while, and who knows what kind of crud. As you can see, there's some debris on it. But I guess that's what it's meant for, right? It's meant to catch some of the dirt and debris dust that gets into the system. So I'm going to go wash this, and then I'll be back. Let's go like that. All right. And now all it is is a matter of taking these push pins and just going down in the middle one of the fins, and I'll hold that right in place. That's good for that. Where's this one? That's got that down. And the center one, the hole is a little bit walled out, so I'm actually going to go a little bit down from where that's at, find another place to push that down in. There. And then we've just got our clips on the back side here. I think that just pushes on and snaps in place. That holds that down. Good. 
And we'll do the same thing over here. And then this. Look at that. Okay. Cleaned up well. Went back on. That is our evaporator core. And it is ready to go back in the car. So that's very good. So we're going to put that to the side and we're going to something else. Moving on. So now we've got the, that's the cold hot blend door. So we've got these two foam seals on the top. The kit came with four of these. And uh, none of them, this one I might be able to get work. This will bend down. That'll that'll work for that spot. But this one's actually too short if it's going to go all the way out to the edge like the factory did it, and that's what I want to do. So this um this foam window seal I think is going to work perfect for that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut off about what I think I need, and then I'm going to use this stuff instead, just cause I want it to be perfect. So I got my two pieces, and where this one comes in, this one sticks down. This comes in at an angle. So we'll cut, cut a little angle in this bad boy. That's about right. We'll see. So now I've just got to get this one off, and this stuff is going to destroy itself trying to get it off. The foam is just tearing because the glue won't let go. Oh, caught an edge on the other side. Let's see if I can get this. Come on, stay together, stay together. <laughs> All right, that's one side. Let's see if I can get, what if I can grab it back here? What if I get lucky again? There's the glue. Oh, every once in a while, I get lucky. Perfect. Okay, so that's all cleaned up and it's perfect because there is an actual color differentiation between the plastic right where that foam seal, you can, you can see that really well. So it's going to make it easy for me to make sure that these two get stuck down in the exact right spot. So this, you know, I just peeled that off and I think I should put this one on first. This is the long straight. I'm going to start back here. This goes right along here. That is down. And then now I can come and butt this right up against this. Right like that. And follow the faded outline. Right over and around. That looks about right. That is good. Almost forgot this little fella. Look at him sitting here. And that is just the right length for this. So this little guy has to come off. I'm hoping this one peels off. It's easy as the others. Look at that. Oh, thank you. Thank you very much. Okay. Holy cow, was that hard to peel away. <laughs> so, no reason for you guys to have to see that. So this is going to stick. How is that going to stick? I'm put it right, right in that groove. You know what's great? Here's a piece that comes with this kit. It's actually got, it's got a slit in the center. This was nowhere to be seen when I pulled this unit out. So when this, when this bolts back in, this rod goes through the back part of the housing I just finished putting together with the, the, the big blend door. And what this does is it sticks down on the outside of that. And then now you've got this thing sealed with this foam right where that, uh, that opening in the door is so you don't lose any air through there. So that's kind of cool. And like I said, this is nowhere to be found on my kit. It was just... MIA. So I got that now. This piece is done. Let's go do another. 
Okay, so here's the screen that goes on the top of the AC box when it goes back in. And underneath, this was not supplied in the kit, or if it was, I don't know if it was meant to be a bunch of these little things, but this is too thick. So here is the actual seal, and it's got all these, you can see that, it's got these little pie cuts in them, because this thing sat on here all kinds of wonky. That's how that was stuck on. So it looks like that. So I've got to duplicate that, and this looks like the exact same thickness. So this is what I'm going to use, and it looks like it's about the same, like that closed foam type material. So what I'm going to do is just lay this out flat, and then I'm going to cut, cut a piece of this, and then I'll have to put all these little pie cuts in. And then we'll stick this on, and I think that will be the last seal, and we'll actually be ready to put this thing back together. So that's kind of exciting. Anyway, let me, uh, let me lay this out and do some cutting, and I'll be back. Okay, so I got all my little pie cuts in this thing, and now and this is going to be fun. So I'm going to start here, and go up. And down, it's going to be interesting. I'm going to do this a little at a time so I don't mess it up. So we'll start at this edge because I know it goes right to this leading edge right here. It comes down. Let's pull a little bit more of this out here. So then it turns. Is that right? Turns sideways here. Let me. Ah. Okay, so that's that there. Okay, and then it, it came down on that. And this thing, this is crazy. Okay, so then it cuts this corner, it looks like. <laughs> oh. Hmm. So that's right there. Okay. And that's up here. And we cut this corner and come over here. And it sticks right along this leading edge. Good night. Okay. Is it perfect? Well, maybe not. It is. just about where the old one was. I think that's enough. Worry about this corner. This thing's sticking and staying. Stuff is sticky enough. I think it ought to work. So I'm gonna just get rid of our excess here. Cut a little long, just to make sure it didn't make, cut myself short on it. Come here. Cut that edge off. All right. So that's done and down, and that is ready to go. And that is the last of the seals. So everything's got a seal where it should go. Everything is ready to be reassembled. I'm excited. I want to get this thing back together and move on to actually painting the firewall, which is why I started this. Oh. And of course the steering wheel, uh, the steering column has um, the typical bolts that are loose down for the, for the tilt steering, so that needs to be taken apart and fixed. That's another couple of videos. <sighs> Just racking up time on this. Okay, well I think I'm gonna call it right here. I've got all the seals together, and then uh, next video we just slam this box back together, and then wrap it up in plastic or put it back on the car. I don't know what we're doing, but anyway. So look forward to that one next. Guys, can't tell you how much I appreciate the attention. Again, hit subscribe. Click the bell so you get notifications. Go to my t-shirt shop. If you find something you like, I mean, I get a little profit out of each one of the sales. And it helps me greatly kind of keep this thing going. And I'm trying to save up money for the machine work so we can actually build an engine. Well, that'll, that'll be fun. So, I'm rambling now. Well, that's it for this video. Next one, we put this bad boy together. So, take it easy, guys. See you later.